Hello everyone, I'm John Adams with ReflectedPixel.com and today we're going to look at travel photo backup options. Just one, really. I've been looking for one of these things for a long time. I had a Sanho device with a screen and a hard drive and I thought it was awesome. One major huge problem. Once I got big SD cards, it didn't work anymore. Cards like this one, 128 gig card. Oh, all of a sudden, every file that I backed up to it was corrupted. Surprise! Well, don't count on that thing. And I asked them if they would be supporting XFAT uh, file systems. They said no. Go jump in a lake. So it kind of soured the waters there for me. What I really wanted was just a way to connect to something from my iPad or my phone that would allow me to make a copy of my SD card. Pretty simple. I didn't need a lot of bells and whistles. I just wanted something really simple. Plug in the SD card, plug in something else, perhaps a USB device like this 256 gig uh, memory stick or even a hard drive. Well, this guy lets us do just that. And it was only 35, less than $40. So let's look at the RAV Power device here. Okay, so the RAV Power File Hub Plus has an SD card slot on the side right here. You just plug in your SD card like so. And you can see it light up and acknowledge that there's something there. On the other side, under this deal, we have a USB. We have a USB and an Ethernet or Ethernet. I haven't ever used the Ethernet, but you can share a wired network over Wi-Fi. It's a little Wi-Fi router. Not really the reason I bought it, but it works. So you can plug in your USB stick right there. So I've got an SD card in one side, USB stick in the other side, and these will both show up over Wi-Fi onto whatever device you choose, laptops, tablets, phones, and so on. So let's jump over here into the app and see what that looks like. So here we are, you download the free app called File Hub Plus, and you can see down at the bottom left corner of the screen, I'm showing a card and a USB symbol. That's how you eject devices. You've got your system right here, you can turn on or off guest users, you can share, uh, all your settings are in here. One setting that's uh, particularly handy is right here under internet access. Just want you to make, make you aware of this. You can actually bridge Wi-Fi networks. So if you know the password to a Wi-Fi network and you only have one password, for example, at a hotel, log your File Hub Plus into that network and then that will share reshare that network with all your devices. So you can get internet through this, if you have another access, through either the plug-in or even through a Wi-Fi bridge. And you've got all your standard music, videos, it kind of catalogs everything that's in there. But here's what I'm really interested in. Files and folders. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see the SD cards right here. And you can actually go into your digital camera image uh, files. You've got buttons up here, select. You can uh, transfer, this shows you transferring right here. And uh, one thing I was gonna look at right here, and you can see it's, this one's kind of going through my Wi-Fi network. So uh, in order to show you, you've got a, if you push this button up top, top right, the little four squares, you can sort. For example, you may want to sort by type. And in my case, type down gives me all my JPEG versions at the top, raw files at the bottom. Because mainly if I'm looking through this, I may want to pick a few of these. You can zoom in. You know, if you want to check sharpness, pretty sweet. You may want to zoom in and just transfer a few of these images. You may want to look closer. So if you want to just pick a few 
and you can transfer the full size images right to your device. Transfer to local device right there, or you could just click this button. And for some reason, this button only works on individuals. So for example, if I'm in here, I hit that button. Sorry. Hit this button here. I can send that right to my photos as I go through. So that may be a great way to do it because you can really see the image a lot bigger than you otherwise would as you're going through. Really handy to just pick a couple images, send to your iPad. Maybe you want to share them with social media, something like that. But let's jump back to what I really wanted to do with this device in the first place. And that is just copy my entire SD card, select all, copy. Pretty simple, right? And you can go to your USB volume. So not, not a lot of fancy backup, merge, everything. Um, create a folder, perhaps give it the date. And paste. And then it shows you exactly how, what's going on. You can paste individual files, individual folders. One thing I would do if, if I was a multi-day shoot, uh, I would just make a new folder every day. Once I copy everything, make a new folder. That way you don't have to re-back up the entire card every single day. Uh, but a really handy device, inexpensive, and it does exactly what I wanted to do, plus a bunch of other things that I didn't even care for. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is it's a USB battery pack. So yes, what does that mean? Well, you can charge up your iPhone with it or your iPad. You can actually charge your Sony camera with the device. Just plug it in with the USB plug. Uh, since it does have its own power, it works with card readers. You can plug in a compact flash card reader. You can plug in a USB hard drive. One thing to note, it does not read HFS plus file systems. It's got to be one of the FAT or XFAT file systems. So as long as you're aware of that and plan accordingly, it can be a fantastic device. One other thing I realize as I go to corporate meetings and such is that a lot of times people come up with a USB stick and say, hey, I got some files for you right here. If all you're carrying with you is your phone, wow, I'd love to be able to copy those up to Dropbox or even just down to my phone or to an SD card, something. If you have this with an SD card in it, plug in the USB stick, copy them over to your SD card. It's a handy mobile file sharing device. Works great. So I'm pretty thrilled with it. I've enjoyed it a lot. And it does exactly what I want at a price that wasn't ridiculous. Usually the ones with hard drives and screens, they're little computers. You might as well buy a, a, a mini PC or netbook. But I didn't want all that stuff. I really wanted just my iPad or my phone. It already wanted to carry with me anyways. I didn't want to carry another thing with me. So it is one more thing, but it's a battery. It's been extremely useful. I'd say check it out and see if it uh, might work for you. Hey, thanks for watching. This is John Adams from ReflectedPixel.com.